welcome back to the Caledonian Hall in Dunedin. It is war zone and it is time for the main event. The New Zealand professional middleweight title. BJ Bland, the man on your screen. He is an experienced kickboxer turned to MMA up against Robert the War Machine Dean as we look at the strap that is on the line tonight. There'll be a ton of support for this uh, for this champion coming out here right now. Mike, he's a 94 champ, 94 kilo champ. He's dropping down to 84. He's trying to add a new trying to add a new belt to his collection. A uh, big step down for him, and he's going to fight a very, very, very experienced fighter. Well, let's just listen in and see how the crowd reacts to the war machine. the stage in the evening the crowd is well primed and their favorite son walking out he is the final man walking out for the main event the iska pro middleweight strap the war machine here he comes robert dean it's been a very busy 11 months for robert dean the war machine this is his fifth fight he's getting his last instructions from coach matt tar and rp tire there he's just going to get checked out now by terry hill about to enter the cage Well, the time for talk almost over. Robert Dean dropping down a division up against a very experienced fighter in BJ Bland. A lot of kickboxing bouts under his belt. But there is no question on which side the crowd sits. BJ Bland, a very experienced kickboxer. But now has Dan Digby in his corner, so will be well grounded in jiu-jitsu. BJ Bland is older at 24 years of age. He is shorter and has a much shorter reach advantage. You can see a huge kickboxing experience, 24 bouts. Compared to Robert Dean, who's 22, he is the taller man, he is the bigger man, but lacks a lot of experience, just 12 bouts under his belt. Tonight we're in the all black Fairtex fight shorts. He has a fight record 11 fights, six wins, four by way of submission with two knockouts. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of Hastings, BG Bland! Our total 34 bouts under his belt if you include the kickboxing. Trained by Matt Toa from Team Hammerhead. This man is a kickboxer. Official weight 83.8 kilograms. Standing six feet one inches tall. Tonight wearing the white shorts with a blue trim and the silver stars. He has a fight record of nine fights, seven wins, five by way. Oh, knockout! The former light heavyweight South Island champion. What an introduction, the war machine, the circling hammerhead shark as he's coming in to this New Zealand title bout. Okay, gentlemen, this is the New Zealand title. You know the rules, I'm just going to give you two commands, all right? When I say stop, you stop fighting. When I say fight, you start all the you fight. Understand, gentlemen? Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. There we go, Jerry Hill with the rock ref cam. BJ Bland looks similar in height, but he has very short arms. He's at a significant reach disadvantage. Notice straight away, he is a southport. I'm actually noticing he's also circling quite often to his right, which isn't a good idea if you're a southport, particularly in a cage, because you can't bounce off the ropes. Oh, lead right hand, uppercut knee, and BJ Bland already rocked. Yeah, the war machine definitely. going to work. He's hanging on for dear life. BJ Bland, he's got that single leg and he is not letting go, but he is getting belted on and around the back of the head. 
Terry Hill probably looking a little bit close to ensure it's not the back of the head. It's supposed to be the side. I definitely think that BJ's felt the power of Bob Dean already. That's why he wants to put this fight on the ground straight away. Yeah, if you, if you looked at the two's frames, I'd say that uh, Dean was naturally the much bigger of the two men. Good takedown there from BJ. He worked very hard for that. Dan Digby giving instructions there to his fighter right now. Interesting to see the kickboxer going for the nice takedown. Nice knee there from Bob Dean. Uh, I like the way he's using wrist control there earlier to create room for the knee. Here we go. The grapple, the joust up against the cage as they work for position. Don't forget, vengeance coming up in April 2013. The next Hammerhead show. But we're here tonight watching Robert Dean against BJ Bland as Bland has Dean up against the cage looking for a takedown. He certainly is. And Bob's he's trying to add the Kimura to him right now. He's going to use that either to get off the cage and or to make uh, BJ let go of this hold. BJ's working very hard to put this on the ground. I don't think he wants to stand with uh, Robert Dean at the moment. Well, as I said, he's actually at a significant oh, height take and reached Finally disadvantage. Got that. Nope. Oh. Okay. Yeah, put it back up. A bit of sportsmanship there. Up. Jeez, he's gassed already. He really is breathing. He doesn't look that well conditioned, BJ Bland, just two minutes into the bout. I think he's worked very hard, Mike, on those takedowns. Mind you, looking at Robert Dean, he's looking very composed there, look very the way, relaxed. Look at the way BJ Bland is continually circling to his left. Oh, beautiful flying knee there from Bob Dean. Straight into mound also. And now he's taken his back. That's beautiful control there, beautiful Good defense control. there from BJ Bland, straight up, trying to raise his hips. He's trying to Made get an arm difficult in. difficult for him to keep the hooks in and slide him off over the top. Yeah, Bob's trying to flatten him out here right now. He Bobby, a wee bit too high up. Yes, he is, so he's given it up. So he's gone back to the stand-up right now. It doesn't hurt him to go to the stand-up. He's had some nice good hope. experience. Step over right hand there. BJ Bland, the south port. Continuing to circle to the right. Not sure that's a good idea. That was a nice step up one too, though. Matt Tower looking on quite intently on his charge right there. Fake. Another good sprawl there from Bob. Oh, lovely reply with a high kick. BJ's gone straight for the takedown again. Interesting to see a, a kickboxer going for the takedown so frequently. He's just... He's getting it, but he's just slightly less efficient. He's just slightly clumsy as he does for it. He has to work really hard. Yes, he's using a lot of energy there. And Bob straight back up again. Nice little left uppercut, right hook. Dean back up. Nice switch up, right kick. BJ Bland answers in kind with a kick to the liver. He's looking very composed there, Bob Dean. Up he against a far more experienced fighter here. He needs to keep his right hand up, though. Remember, he's fighting a southpaw who does tend to step in with a little short, straight left right hand, and there it is, stepping in with it. A nice reply back from Bob Dean again. Just He's going just for those takedowns that are just yes. a little bit sloppy. They're not quite sharp enough. Perhaps the strength is ebbing too. I still say BJ Bland is fighting out of his weight division. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt that at all there, Mike. He fought just recently at, uh, at 70-70, so he's definitely put on a bit of weight to come up to this for the 84 shot. Nice it's a right kick. hand and an uppercut. Takes the head kick on the gloves. But BJ Bland, until he works out a way to avoid those right shots, whether it be leg or hand, is going to struggle in the stand-up. Needs to double up on his right jab. And as you see there, he needed to double up on that to deliver his left hand. Nice little fake going for the single leg. But again, just not quite sharp enough in his execution. Trying to lift Bob really high with the high crotch move there. But I mean, Bob's making him pay just right through the through the body shots there. And Doesn't Bob, seem too worried with the takedown attempts at all, Mike. I, I, exactly. I, I'd say he would be if it was a... Uh, a more forceful opponent. Perhaps he feels he's much stronger. Good yeah, good work though by BJ. Get that I down got, there. Straight on the side, man. All the takedowns now with just 17 seconds to go. On the inner armour fight clock. And he's got it to full mount. He's well, definitely going to make play he's here. Worked so hard to get there, but time is running down on the clock. Just five seconds. Down comes the left elbow. A succession of left elbows. Well... Too little, too late for BJ Bland, but that has to be enough with all those takedowns to win him the round. Absolutely, Mike. Very, very uh, interesting round. Like you say, the kickboxer are going for the takedown all the time. Well, he started off getting tagged early by a guy who's clearly a harder hitter, and he looks to be much stronger, but BJ Bland showing plenty of heart and taking plenty of punishment as he tries to secure those takedowns. i got to say, he looked gassed towards the latter part of that round. Yeah, I definitely think he felt the power of Bob Dean there, and 
the other thing that's quite interesting is the composure of Robert Dean in this fight. Uh, fighting the more experienced fighter and just some beautiful choices that he's doing there. Just doesn't seem too bothered. Well, lovely flying knee there. Yeah. He's just lucky that he actually took that on the upper thigh rather than the yeah. point of the knee yeah, there. Right there. BJ Bland. He's a tough boy though. Good finish to the round though, wasn't it? For BJ. Nice short elbows from on top. To me, he still looks pretty gassed. Very experienced corner though. Dan Digby. A champion in his own right. Gosh, he's really sucking it in. And for those of you who hadn't guessed, it is round two of our ISKA Pro Middleweight bout underway between PJ Bland in the black tights and Bob Dean in the white shorts. Yeah, the war machine started. Nice How short finished. left right hand. Nice short. That was a straight left, and I think he's been wobbled by it. I don't think BJ Bland has seen it. That was a short, crisp left hand. Yes, he's definitely picking his shots, isn't he, right now? That composure that Robert Dean's showing is quite surprising in this. Well, he's not turning on the asset. I don't think he's seen it at this point. Oh, Bob Dean, nice high right knee. leg. Yes. BJ Bland once again going for the single leg. Dan well, Digby barking instructions there right now. Well, he knows his man is gas. He's trying to keep him in a position where he can actually take advantage. PJ Bland's biggest problem hasn't been in getting into position. It's actually been in keeping Dean on the ground. And another good scramble from Bob Dean to get up there right now from the war machine. Could be and now case. he's hunting by the look of it right now. I think he's really going to put the pressure on BJ Ryan. Nice, nice kick there. liver kick there from Very BJ nice. Bland. And the that takedown kick. attempt again. Bob's going to rest against the cage the here. Side. He just doesn't look gassed at all, Dean. His composure no. has stood him in good stead. Very good. Well, there's a succession of elbows. Nothing happening there from BJ Bland. He's not doing anything. He's just getting his head wobbled and crashed again and again. That ear taking a lot of damage. He's digging in, isn't he? Well, no one willing to give up on position. A lot of heart. But you heard... Look referee Terry Hill telling him you have to fight back. He wasn't fighting back. BJ Bland, and you can see now, he was just simply too gassed to respond. Well, it's an unusual finish. Oh, absolutely. Uh, definitely a TKO finish there for Bob Dean. He was talking to Terry Hill during that last part of the fight there, asking if what he was doing was legal, and he got told it was. And in the end, it looked like he was trying to dig a hole through BJ's ear. Well, there's an ear you don't want to take home to mum. And there is the beginning of the end. BJ Bland boring in, trying for the single leg. But he was just too tired. <laughs> well, can hear Terry's asking, instructions right there. Yeah, and Terry's saying to him, if you don't start moving, I'm going to stop it. That's a very confident new champion right there, Ladies Robert Dean. Well, I think it's a case of a good little man against a very good bigger man. It wasn't technique, it wasn't experience. I think it was raw power and raw strength from Robert Dean, who now goes home as the New Zealand champion. He came to fight tonight. BJ, it was a bit of a tough fight. You tried to take it to the ground. Give us your thoughts on what happened. Yeah, well, obviously we knew Bob had that power in his strikes and it's not really worth trying to trade with the man. He showed why, you know. He's knocked out light heavyweights and you know, he hits hard, so well done to him. Ladies and gentlemen, a true soldier, BJ Bland. Give it up, ladies and gentlemen. He came to fight. <laughs> the War Machine, Robert Dean, come on down. <laughs> You've all, we've always talked about it there, Rob. You can't have the show without the biz or the biz without the show. What was the plan? Uh, stay away from his dangerous clinch. He's, uh, Known for his kickboxing success. So just keep my distance, don't let the clinch get in. He got one knee in. You know, you've got pretty much your rock soldiers there, each and every one of them in the cage to your left. But you pretty much had your fifth person in the corner. And this was this amazing crowd who pretty much came here and raised the roof once again. Yeah. You might be they, they pay good money to come watch us fight. So that's what I do when I come out here, I fight, get your money's worth, see some people uh, land some punches. <laughs> That's it. Oh yeah, uh, this is a good stint at middleweight, but uh, I'm catching this weight class up, moving down to welterweight. So you want to move down to welterweight now? Yep, I'm going to move to welterweight, and I'll never try and get a date with Jacques Masters. 
So you're already calling out Jack Masters go from pretty much a light heavyweight middleweight down to welterweight and already calling out Jack Masters. That is the challenge. Yep. All right, ladies and gentlemen, your new Fariterim NZ ASKA middleweight champion, the war machine, Robert Dean. Well, he's a young man with plenty of confidence. He is the new New Zealand champion. A big chunk of change to fill, though, against Jack Masters, a recently crowned world kickboxing champion. Well, what a way to finish the show. The local boy goes home a champion here at the Caledonian Hall. Keep an eye out for April 2013. Vengeance, the next Hammerhead show. I'm Lightning Mike Angove with Howie Booth saying good night and see you next time in the cage.